We've all been there, that heart-pounding moment when the dream world collides with reality and we jolt wide awake. Welcome to the realm of our sleeping minds where every night is an adventure and sometimes a spine chiller. Get this, we spend an astonishing six years of our lives dreaming. That's over 2,100 nights of movies playing in our head, but hold on to your pillows. Nearly half a year of that dream time is spent in the eerie world of nightmares. Every night as we close our eyes our mind doesn't just switch off, nope it lights up, whisking us away on nocturnal adventures through our deepest fears, desires and everything in between. But why do we have nightmares? What hidden messages are encoded into these chilling visions? Just what are these nightmares of ours dying to tell us? Hang tight, because we're going to uncover the psychology behind nightmares, and what they reveal about our subconscious fears and unresolved conflicts. Now what's really going on in our heads when we hit the pillow? Each night as we drift off into slumber our brains aren't just snoozing, oh no they're gearing up for a spectacular show. This is when the brain enters the realm of REM sleep, the prime time for dreams. You've seen it in movies right, someone asleep, eyes darting back and forth, that's rapid eye movement, or REM in action, where your mind starts its nighttime cinema. But it's not just about entertainment, scientists believe dreaming is our brain's clever way of tidying up. Think of it as a nightly cleanup crew, organizing the day's memories, tossing out the junk and connecting all of life's dots from the day. Your dreams aren't just random snippets, they're your brain's way of problem solving, even rehearsing for future challenges. Ever experience that sudden aha moment, a flash of genius out of the blue? Well, you can thank your dreams. Sure, some dreams are as weird as giant neon mushrooms colonizing space, but there's a method in this madness. These curious night visions are your brain's unique way of piecing together life's puzzles, each one a fragment in the grander puzzle of our subconscious. Have you ever soared through the air like an eagle? Beautiful, right? What about when you tumble out of the sky, flailing all the way down? Terrifying, no doubt. Well, dreams of flight often embody our ambitions and desires for liberation, whereas falling can reflect deep-seated anxieties or a sense of loss of control. We've all been chased in a dream, but it's not because you've been watching too many cliché horror movies, rather it's your inner psyche signaling that you're dodging a challenge or that you're afraid of being rejected. And what about those dreams where we show up too late for a test or a big meeting? This common scenario typically mirrors real-life worries about adequacy and being judged. And how about that dream where you're hopelessly lost or desperately looking for someone you can't seem to find? This dream often symbolizes feelings of bewilderment, decision-making dilemmas, or the need to search for a new path in life. And those terrifying dreams, where you meet your demise, the bad news is, they feel so real. The good news is, you're not dead. It's actually quite the opposite. Your death in a dream often symbolizes transformation, marking the end of one phase and the beginning of another. You see, our dreams are like a complex code waiting to be deciphered, each symbol a clue to understanding our deepest emotions, fears, and hopes. And deciphering them opens a window into our innermost selves. With nightmares and night terrors our deepest emotions take on a more shadowy form. Nightmares are like the unsung heroes of our psyche, playing out our innermost fears on the stage of our mind. But guess what, they're actually good for us. Nightmares can be a window to our emotional health. They spotlight anxieties and stresses that we might be ignoring. Ever dream about a tornado? Nightmare! Feel like you're trapped underwater? Really bad nightmare. But these are not just random horror shows. Quite the contrary, they are a psychological nudge, urging us to confront and resolve our fears. It's like having a personal therapist working the night shift in our brain to help us process and overcome our waking challenges. Night terrors are nightmares on steroids. They occur during the deepest stages of non-REM sleep, unlike nightmares which happen during REM sleep. Night terrors are more than just intense dreams. They're powerful emotional experiences that can leave a strong, albeit often unremembered, impression. In night terrors, the brain is caught in a bizarre limbo, not quite awake yet not fully asleep. You might find yourself screaming, flailing, immersed in fear or panic but without the vivid storyline of a nightmare. The emotional impact can be significant, even if not consciously remembered. It's common to wake up feeling unsettled, or having a sense of dread without knowing why. Night terrors are often triggered by stress, fatigue, sleep deprivation, or certain medications. Though intense and sometimes alarming, understanding that night terrors are a product of the deep subconscious can be reassuring. It's the brain's peculiar way of hitting the reset button during deep sleep, a kind of emergency drill for our emotions. 
As our minds conduct these nightly drills, it's not just our internal world at play. The external world around us also takes a leading role in shaping our dreams. This brings us to an intriguing aspect. How do everyday factors that we encounter, from our diet to our surroundings, influence the stories that unfold in our sleep? From the inner workings of our subconscious and its nighttime drills, let's now step out and see how the outside world affects our inner world. First up, the food we eat. Yep, that late night snack could be the scriptwriter for tonight's dream episode. And those spicy or heavy meals close to bedtime, they're often behind those bizarre or vivid dreams. And what about our sleeping environment? That ticking clock, the soft hum of a fan, or even the city's heartbeat outside, they can all make guest appearances in our dream world, often morphing into something completely different. But it's not just what we hear or eat. What we watch or read before bed can take center stage in our dreams. Binge watching a thriller or reading a romance novel? Don't be surprised if elements find their way into your dream scenes. Now let's talk stress and emotions. Our daily stresses don't just vanish when we close our eyes, they often pack their bags and come along for the ride, shaping the narratives of our nocturnal adventures. And then there's medication and substances. Things like alcohol, caffeine, or certain medications don't just affect our waking hours. They can turn our dreams into a roller coaster of emotions and experiences. Think of our dreams as a symphony. Each element, be it the stress of a day, a captivating movie, or even a greasy late-night snack, contributes its own unique note to this complex composition. And nightmares? They're like intense, dramatic chords, adding depth to the music of our dreams. Remember, every dream, whether puzzling, thrilling, or bizarre, has its place in our subconscious story. And as we embark on these nightly adventures, let's embrace the mystery and insight they offer. They remind us that every night, there's a whole other world unfolding behind our closed eyes. So sleep tight, dear viewer, and don't let the bed bugs bite. <coughs> Have you ever had a particularly vivid dream or a memorable nightmare? Share that bad boy in the comments below. We hope you found this video to be informative. If so, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Your likes keep us busy creating brain-nourishing content. Until next time, stay curious.